Welcome to a brand new video. It's, uh, it's been a while. I mean, like, only slightly over a year. So, you might have noticed, this video looks a little different. We decided to go with more of a podcast format. We hope you like it. No, we don't. We really don't care. So, we wanted you guys to know us more, so I made the choice to only script the beginning. Which, by the way, I'm scripting this at 12 at night. I should really fix my sleep schedule. Oh no, this won't be good. Okay, the script ends here. Well, for Gabby. I'm gonna write down questions I'm gonna ask us. Okay, let's start with this. Gabby, tell us a joke. Um, what's the craziest fruit? What? I don't know, but he just went coconuts. <laughs> that... Whatever. Alright, let's just get on with it. Alright, Gabby, let's ask you a simple question first. Okay. What's your social security number? Uh, 42069, your mom. <laughs> Alright, let's actually do real questions. Uh, what's your favorite color? Purple. Alright, mine's blue. Uh, -huh. uh, what's your favorite class? Oh, science class. It's the only good class left in our oh. school. Alright, what's your favorite grade you were in? I'll have to say fifth grade. That was like the funnest. Mr. Narvez was such a good teacher. Miss Leonard wasn't a good teacher, but my friends <laughs> were funny. I remember we were working, walking down the hallway once, and we heard her yell at you guys if you like said something about shut up. We were, all got scared, including Mr. Narvez, but uh, we realized you were just re she was just reading a book or something. Yeah, listen, Miss Leonard was so loud, I swear to God, I lost the majority of my hearing in that class. We would hear her from, like, across the hallway. No, because in the fourth grade, before I had her class, I was, like, with Miss Savova, right? And I went to the bathroom, and I could hear her yelling down the hall, and I was actually going to cry tears. <laughs> actually? Yeah, I went to the bathroom, and you know how the bathroom was, like, down the hall. I yeah. was going to cry. That was terrifying. <sighs> what a baby. I, uh, I would also, like, I wouldn't cry, but I would have been horrified to just hear someone scream from across the hall while I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. That sounds horrifying. What's your least favorite grade? My least? Probably sixth grade. I don't know if I was just over dramatic or if I just didn't like any of my teachers, but I feel like it was the hardest to adapt to. Because, you know, in elementary, you know, you stay in one room the entire day and you really don't switch classes. Yeah. But, in sixth grade, you know, we were just kind of thrown in the pool and expected to swim. I can hear your dog. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll keep it in. I'll just be like, sorry about my dog. <laughs> I'm stuck between two classes that was my least favorite. Uh, so, seventh grade, because that, like, COVID, all that stuff, e-learning, I got really behind. And school-wise, I'd say second grade, dude. My teacher sucked. She would teach us nothing the whole school day. If we weren't in a different class, like Explorers or something, we would have, like, maybe an hour or two of actual school if we were lucky. And then she would put on this kids' show that, like, was like airplanes talking or something and they all have like bird names or i don't remember what it was called but that's what we would do the whole school year that's what we did i remember her class being like living hell because it was so dark in there and she always just put on like some math video and then we'd get like a big worksheet to finish in the week oh oh that reminds me Remember kindergarten, those homework packets we used to get? Yeah, and your parents had to, like, sign them and crap. And you remember the reading yeah. stuff? Where it was, like, a uh, reading log? I lied yeah. so hard on those. I actually read those. Because, like, the, the books were so easy, and back then I still liked reading. Because it wasn't, like, the hard literature books that the teachers force us to read now. I have actually found, like, the little books they used to give us interesting. What's your favorite live-action movie? Live action movie. Like, from a book, or, like, a book to live action, or a cartoon to live action? Like, either or. Um, 
or just like a movie with like regular people that's not animated, you know? Regular people that's not animated. I'm about to say like anything. The African Doctor. That's a good movie. What it's, the it's heck a- is <laughs> Hi guys, I also see Tom Holland having a more like cartoony aspect as like the other Spider Mans have a more mature and like Yeah I guess not like teenager feeling And I haven't mentally matured past fourth grade, so No, but what I'm saying is like Spider Man should be a goofy kid. Yeah. He's like I feel like he fits the character better, you know, like the teenage superhero who doesn't really know what it's what he's doing yeah pretty much all right favorite animated movie animated movie ratatouille yeah it is such a oh. satisfying movie to watch oh of course God. what of course it's yeah. ratatouille I mean, you watch like how they cut the food and they make the soup <laughs> Uh, they make the right at the tattoo. Like Gabby, you sure it's your favorite animated movie, or are you just really hungry right now? Listen, listen, listen. I just ate mac and cheese before this, so I'm not that hungry. But that food in that movie, I will give my life for a bite. Not even a bite, a crumb. <laughs> uh, and, oh, that like, one part where they, like, cut the bread open and it sounds so real. Yeah. You know why you like Ratatouille? You listen to, like, food as ASMR during lunch. <laughs> it's so good! It's so good! Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Watching those ASMR It's some kid dipping his so entire good. cheeseburger in cheese and taking bites out of it. Yeah! No, and I sit with you. You, I have nothing else to do, so I have to sit there and listen to some guy just chew on like a fo- uh, like a bucket of chicken, like <laughs> dipped in cheese. <laughs> it's so good, Jonathan. You don't understand. It's no. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. At least now you don't play it during lunch. Yeah, we watch haiku now. For those of you who don't know, Haiku is the best volleyball anime there is. Probably the, the only best one. anime. What? Well, it's the best anime, it is the best actually. anime, actually. Well, second best. Screw your Naruto, your One Piece. Screw all of it. I haven't watched Naruto. N- Naruto sucks. Um, screw your Dragon Ball. Akagi Gabby, you better go. Gabby, you better shut up before Gohan attacks you at school. No. Gohan, if you're hearing this, I'm sorry. I had to. What's your favorite live action show? Show? Oh, Super yeah. Girl. T- like TV show. Super Girl. Or sitcom or whatever. I love Supergirl and I also love Grey's Anatomy. I have no clue what either of those are. You don't know who Supergirl is? No. Superman, but like. Oh, his cousin oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like, actual superheroes. I thought it was gonna be, like, some, like, teen drama or no, something. No, Grey's Anatomy is a bunch of surgeons. I, oh, of course you like that. Yeah, but those are, like, my top two. The ones that I watch the most. I also like Bridgerton, but the show kind of, season two flopped. So I don't watch it anymore. Alright, my favorite live-action show is The Office, and yes, that's basic, but that's my opinion. I love The Office, but I don't think I'd put it in, like, my number one spot. Well, right now, I can't really think of any. At the moment, that's just the one that popped up. Uh, It's a good show. I mean, you're not wrong. It's really funny to watch, and I feel like you could watch it, like, at any time of the day, and it'll still be funny. Yeah, but it got kind of boring now. Like, well, not now since it's over, but towards the end, you know, when Michael left, like, yeah, you take a fun, you take the funniest character out of a show. It's not gonna hit the same. Yeah, Toby doesn't do it justice. <laughs> you know what sucked? Now they got it off of Netflix, and now you can only watch it with Peacock. All right, what's your favorite animated show? Um, Family Guy. Family Guy or. Family Guy or Rick and Morty? One of those two. Uh, of, co- of course it is. 
That's just, it's your humor. It's your humor. That fits perfectly for you. Anyone that knows you in person will know that those shows, like, fit your personality so well. Well, damn. I want to take that as a compliment, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> it's, like, both. It's okay. Uh, all right, my favorite show that like should be for kids, but I still like it right now is Lab Rats. I just started watching it, and it's so good. It's pretty good. Eh, and towards the end though, yeah, okay. I love how you know, like those old Disney Channel shows, like stuff in there was so obvious. Now that I look at it now, I see how people like Teen Titans go. Like I used to like it. Like I don't think it's as bad as people say, but. I would probably rather watch the original Teen Titans than that. Yeah, the original Teen Titans are good. Teen Titans Go, it's mainly funny to, like, very young kids. Because they're going to see, like, you know how it's a mostly, like, poop fart show? Where it's, like, yeah. farts is the whole joke? So I think it would be funny to, like, little kid me. Be like, hi, I they used... farted, that's funny. But you know, <laughs> now it's not the same. <laughs> Yeah, I tried rewatching it. Like, the episodes are kind of enjoyable, but it's okay. After a while, it's er, repetitive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I feel like that's the same thing for a lot of shows. But that's why some shows just randomly decide to add, like, new characters out of nowhere. For real. Alright, what's your favorite Looney Tune character? Looney Tune? Lola Bunny! Ooh, hottie. Of course. Look, of look, course I'm you're gonna go. Furry. Of course you're gonna go there. Furry. Of course you're gonna go I'm there, not Gabby. A furry. And so, <laughs> and so, so, so. Listen, I'm not a furry, but she's hot. Okay, <laughs> she's hot. <laughs> like, have you seen Lola Bunny? I'm gonna put a picture right there. That is hot material. Woo! Yeah, you're gonna get us demonetized. We were supposed to be a kids' channel, I think. Kids' channel. They know. <laughs> All right. Uh, my favorite Looney Tunes character is either Roadrunner or Taz. Oh, those are actually some pretty good characters. Ever watch like the spinoff show, like Baby Looney Tunes or something? No, I never watched <clears> it. I did. That's actually how I got introduced to Looney Tunes. Oh, I watched Looney Tunes, like, as a kid, unironically. Batman or Iron Man? Batman. I hate you. Let's go off of whichever one we like the most. If they fought, who would win? Oh, Iron Man by far. Exactly! Listen, Batman isn't more of a fighting guy. He's more of a uncovering the mystery dude. Yeah, you hear that, Jimmy? You hear that? Even a Batman fan is gonna see that. Yeah. Alright. Alright, your favorite book series. You're gonna say Harry Potter, I know you're going to. Harry Potter or or the Lightning Thief. Question. Mario or Luigi? Oh Mario. I'm gonna say Luigi just to be different. Oh. I think Luigi do Luigi doesn't get enough credit. Mario has more character development. Yeah, like, you know, did you watch the, like, Game Theory episode that Mario's a psychopath? Yeah. I fully agree with that statement. A psychopath is more interesting to watch than some dude. But Luigi's cool! How? How? He he just is, and he's tall. So, just because you're tall doesn't make you cool, Jonathan? Just because you're short doesn't make you have character development. I have a lot of character development. Yeah, the abusive one. That's what I call you. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Give me the next question. What are your feelings on the new Wii Sports game? I don't like the characters. They look so modern and gross and weird and not human. Bring back the Miis! You know, like, the Miis are a separate option, but it sucks that they're not, like, the main highlight anymore. I used to, I, I, when I first saw, like, the Nintendo Sports, I was like, I can't wait to see Miis 
but more modern, you know, give them some more, like, you can pick their clothes, or, you know. Yeah, and then you saw, and then you saw this, and you're like, oh no, give me back the memes. Yeah, it looks like what, you know what Roblox trying to do right now? I'm so sorry, I'm a Roblox. Oh, yeah, Roblox that, Roblox that looks like what to, like, Roblox, their yeah. Characters and tell these modern, like, these, these Fortnite characters. <laughs> yeah. What's gonna happen in Nintendo Sports? I they don't even look modern. I wanted to personalize my meat, you know, put them in cool clothing, better hair options, more face options. I'm just frustrated. Cause you I know what sucks? I watched leaked footage. They got rid of the Easter egg where you can throw the bowling ball backwards. <sighs> See, I, 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 they ruined a lot of things. I want them to make an update of the game and just bring that back. I will give it a five-star review if they just bring back that Easter egg. I like the fact that they have volleyball in it. Because, like, I don't, I don't remember a Wii Sports that had volleyball. And it's kind it of didn't. weird how the controls are. Yeah. But what sucks, though, is badminton and tennis, I don't care. They're somewhat different, but it's like the same thing. You hit something badminton with a tennis. is if volleyball and tennis had a child. I know. I feel like they got kind of lazy with the game. I think, yeah. They wanted to be different with the sport, so they put volleyball and badminton in there to be special. Okay, soccer... How... Like... It's I don't understand. Because for soccer... like either You need the controller. Or are you just playing with your Joy-Cons? That's just like a, like a sad version. Like, if I play that, I'm just going to feel like I'm playing a sad version of FIFA. I yeah, you you and your digital and games can get out. out of this house, Gabby. Just leave with you and your physical digital games. I am not leaving my physical games. No, leave with all your digital games. You don't. I don't respect those. I like the digital games because I don't like wasting space. You know, I got a box that didn't even come with the game. It just came with the download code for a game. You really buy all the physical copies. What are you gonna do with and them? I know you. I came. I didn't even realize, but it was five bucks more expensive. So I literally paid five bucks <laughs> for a box. <laughs> oh my god, that's a rookie mistake. The thing is, I don't even have like I want to get into collecting and stuff, so I'm gonna put them on display at some point. But I'm not there yet. What's your favorite streaming platform that you have? Streaming platform? Like Netflix, Hulu, HBO. Disney Plus, all that stuff. HBO Max. I think Do it you has have the that? most largest, like, um, how do I say this? Selection of um, DC movies, which I'm in love with. Why don't and you get DC Universe? That's a thing? Yeah, it's literally just DC stuff. Alright, it's probably either Disney Plus, because I like all the Disney shows and stuff, and Marvel, because I'm a Marvel person. Or, well, it well, used to be Hulu, because of all the good TV shows, but I already watched, like, all of them, so. You know, Netflix used to be good. Netflix? But now every, everyone's getting rid of everything on Netflix. We're gonna come back one day, and there's gonna be just, like, like three shows, and that's it. I just, I, I feel like that um, a lot of platforms are trying to be unique. And, like, starting their own shows, like, Euphoria, I feel like broke it out for everyone. For, like, their own streaming platforms to have, like, their own thing. Yeah. Although, to be fair, I feel like Disney Pl Disney Plus has a really good reason to exist. Because, like, Disney owns, like, half the universe at this point. Like, they deserve their streaming platform. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. Watermelon. Because I forgot to say that this video. Watermelon.